What's up everybody, it's Ben here, back with another video. Welcome back. Today I am going to be sharing with you my secrets to success, so to speak, what I think about day and night, uh, my obsession with success, how bad I want to be successful, okay? So I believe this can help you from my perspective with the little success that I may have encountered. So with that, let's get right into it, guys. So success doesn't happen overnight, that's what I want to explain first, okay? So with the little success that I've encountered, that I've seen my friends and coworkers and family encounter, it's through hard work, dedication, you're, you're, you're losing sleep, you're barely eating, you're really grinding it out. So any success that I've encountered through, say, boxing or um, jobs, moving up through jobs, any job I've been at, or in my personal development through life, is a lot of hard work, a lot of going against the grain, a lot of not having fun, so to speak, not taking pleasure in things that average people take pleasure in, okay? So success does not happen overnight. The example I'd like to use is Amazon. So if anybody, if you think about when Amazon was started, when, when do you remember seeing Amazon? I remember seeing it come to the surface and become a really big thing about five or six years ago. Did you guys know that Amazon has been in business and struggling to become what it is today since 1994? Nobody knew about Amazon before 2005 at least, okay? Like it just came on the scene like crazy. Everybody thought it just happened overnight, right? Everybody thought that Amazon just, it just happened. No, they had this vision Many, many, many years ago, okay? So it doesn't happen overnight. Jeff Bezos is a very smart man. Study him. He's He implements the most successful attributes in the world. I heard he's extremely good at time management. No one manages time like the billionaires and most successful people of the world. So that's who I try to emulate. And that's what I try to do with my life. That's what I try to push to others, okay? So with that said, are you going to be an employer or are you going to be an employee? You have to make this decision sooner or later, okay? There's millions of decisions you're going to have to make in your life and your principles are going to be the guiding force for why you make that decision, okay? So what are your principles? If they're negative or unhealthy principles, you're more than likely going to just stick with the, the easy route, which is an employee, right? I go to work. I work a nine to five. Um, I'm comfortable with that. I know my schedule. I get a I, I get a fixed salary. I know exactly what I'm going to make. To me, I was not put on this earth to be boring. I was put on this earth to for a purpose. I am not going to be an employee any longer in my life. I have made the decision that I'm going to jump at being an employer, which means entrepreneurial, independent thinker, all this kind of stuff, right? So I'm making it happen. I'm trying to make it happen, right? And I really encourage others to do the same. If you're an employee, that's a recipe for disaster. I mean, there's nothing wrong with hard work and doing that. If that makes you happy in your life, then that's great. That's great. Like, keep doing that. But for the people who are on the fence, they're confused, they're lost, they don't really know what to do. I mean, start thinking about uh, managing your life and taking control of your time permanently, forever, forever. Make that decision and don't look back, okay? So are you going to be an employer or an employee? Are you going to be a victim, a slave the rest of your life, in my view? Or are you going to be someone who controls their life 1,000%, okay? Monetize your interest in hobbies. In 2021 now, with the internet rising and technology being so prominent and dominant amongst society... If you're not monetizing your interest in hobbies, there's, there's, you're confused. You, 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 have to, you have to start doing this. You want as many flows of income as possible to make you as successful as possible. So what I'm doing right now through these videos that I started about a month ago, I'm monetizing my interest in hobbies. I love success. I love speaking about it. As you, I'm very passionate. Um, my hobbies, boxing, you see my boxing videos all the time. I love boxing. I'm going to try to start making money off this stuff. I've finally come to the point where I'm ready to take the initiative to become what I want to be. I'm letting go of who I was so I can become what I want to be, what I've always envisioned myself to be, what I, what, what my dreams and goals are. Okay. So monetize your interest in hobbies, whatever form that may be. Okay. 
I'm doing it through YouTube right now. So keep supporting me, guys. Subscribe. And with that, guys, just find your interests, man. Like, you have to find your interests and you have to try to make money off of them, okay? This is all intertwined together, if you notice. Everything kind of clicks together. This is all very related and, and um, co correlated, right? So with that said, the 10-hour mastery rule, okay? So with your interests, for example, if you want to monetize your interests, or let's give an example of me. So boxing, I've been boxing for almost 10 years now. I probably put in about 10,000 hours, and I feel like I'm pretty good, right? I, I like to consider myself half decently well at, at, the, at the art of boxing, okay? So that was through, as Jeff Bezos with Amazon, that was through 10 years of getting beat up every single day before I knew something, right? It doesn't happen overnight. You, 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 you're going to go through so much pain to get to the point where you want to be, that it's gonna probably take, like this is just a guider, it doesn't take 10,000 hours, it might, but 10,000 hour mastery rule is the guideline for saying like, if you're consistent, you work hard, you will become an expert in this area that you wanna become an expert in, if you put in the extremely hard work and go through that cycle, okay? So, my favorite things, my favorite words, adjectives, okay, are, is obsession, consistency, courageousness and creativity okay obsessed you have to be obsessed you have to be obsessed guys okay you have to be totally immersed if you're not engaged in your interests or your your um your wants and needs you are not going to probably pursue it to the full extent possible you're not going to reach your full potential because you're not absolutely obsessed with making it happen all right consistency Every single day, regardless of how you feel, you're depressed, who cares? Do it anyways. See what happens. See how it clicks you out of the depression as soon as you just decide to do it anyways, okay? Courageousness. I'm going to go and do this regardless of how I feel. It's basically the same with consistency, but courageousness is feeling the fear and doing it anyway, okay? FOMO, fear of missing out. Just do it. Just do it. Just figure it out. Just go and do it, and I swear you will feel better. I promise. I guarantee you will. It will be a transformation every single time you do it. You're going to learn something new every single time, okay? So be courageous with whatever you enjoy, whatever you like, okay? Creativity. <sighs> Meditation, relaxing, I find that is the best way to fester your creativity. That's how ideas flow. If you're constantly stressed out and overthinking and pushing yourself to the limits, which is necessary, however, but you also know how you also have to know how to relax a little bit so that your minds can reflect on what you have been working so hard to do, so that you can um, um, project your your ideas in better forms through time. So that's what creativity is. You, you're you're exploring your brain and you're letting out the ideas that haven't flown out before. That's how I view it, okay? So you need to be obsessed, consistent, courageous, create, creative, okay? Get those adjectives seared into your brain, all right? Limit distractions as much as possible, okay? On your path to financial freedom, on your path to a new mindset, on your path to being successful, you are definitely going to have to limit your distractions, okay? Every girl that comes your way, do not jump on that, all right? Every distraction, uh, recreational activities, I mean, sometimes you're going to have to say, listen, no, I'm not going out there, right? Everyone's going to be like, why aren't you, why don't you ever hang out with us, okay? Because I'm on a path. I know what I'm doing. I'm under construction. I am totally under construction. I don't have time to hang out with people. I am on a dead set, laser focused path to success, okay? Limit your distractions. Limit them regardless of how your family and friends feel, okay? And I have a quote to end you off with, okay? This is from Robert Herjavec. He has multiple books. He's on Shark Tank. He's on Dragon's Den. Um, he owns one of the largest cybersecurity firms in the world, okay? He's a great guy. Um, if you're hard on yourself, life will be easy. This is what I read from his book that he tells his employees all the time. If you're hard on yourself, uh, on yourself life will be easy, okay? I am very hard on myself. I'm very anxious all the time, and I use that as an advantage, okay? 
If you trick yourself into thinking you're excited rather than anxious, they have the exact same symptoms. Keep that in mind. Your heart rate picks up, your palms get sweaty, you talk a lot faster when you're anxious or excited. So tell yourself you're excited, okay? If you get your brain to think, I'm excited, you are more willing to take on challenges than if you're anxious and uh, locked in your couch, um, freaking out about to have a panic attack, okay guys? So if you're hard on yourself, life will be easy. The harder I am on myself, the more I push myself, the more I make content, the more I read, the more I learn, the more I study, the more I implement and execute strategies, the easier life is for me, honestly. With the limited success that I've encountered throughout my lifetime so far, Life keeps getting easier and everything keeps getting stronger and I'm at a point now where nothing's going to stop me, okay guys? So I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a rant. Anyways, please enjoy, subscribe, and I'll see you next time guys. Thank you.